Um, hey guys, I just wanted to make this very important video. Please watch the whole thing and yeah, so I just wanted to talk about um, a couple of things in this video. First of all, I wanted to talk about how not all Christians are doing their part. There's a lot of um, born-again Christians that are living for Christ, but they're also staying silent. They're not evangelizing. They're not spreading the New, they're not they're not talking about the gospel they're not talking about god they're not talking about jesus they're not talking about the upcoming events of the rapture most christians that i know i, I wouldn't i don't i don't even want want to call them christians because they're just christian by being born in a christian family they're they're not they're not even believers let's just put it that way but even they they think oh once they die once they die they're they're immediately gonna go to heaven they're they're gonna have eternal bliss, but it does not work this way. Uh, from from I heard this from two reliable sources. For every every thousand, for every one person that gets into heaven, a thousand get into hell. Isn't that crazy? And I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised at the statistics. Um, realizing that the age we're living in, we are truly in the times of Noah. Mankind is so weak, wicked. I'm even I'm even surprised that. Um, for every thousand that go to hell, one goes to heaven. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was for every two thousand that go to hell, one going to heaven. So I, yeah, so most Christians are not. Um, I'm not judging. I'm just saying how it is. So you can also do your part. Most Christians they're not evangelizing. They're not repenting. They're they're basically um, not doing their part. And yeah. And and what and what pisses me off is what people talk about now. Now they just sit next to a random stranger and see the conversation. I've I've heard people talking about shoelaces for ten minutes straight, and no one wants to talk about God. Once you bring up God, um, people turn it into this awkward conversation. Like it becomes sort of a taboo. And that's that's what that's the age we're living in. Like people want to talk about shoelaces, but they don't want to talk about the being that created them. Why why wouldn't you want to talk about God? That's that's crazy. And also, remember, a lot of people say, oh, God wants me to have a nice house. God wants me to have a nice car. I'm not saying he doesn't. Glory to God. If he wants you to have a nice house and you got it, all glory to God. It's, I'm not saying he doesn't want you to have these things, but he also wants you to evangelize. So if, he get, so if he's giving you things... If, if he's giving you things, what are you giving him back? All that God has done for you, you need to do something back. Yeah, and basically, remember, for remember the thousand and one statistics I talk about. And remember, even if you can save one one soul from going to going into hell, remember, going into heaven and hell is for eternity. Once you're there, you're pretty much there. So imagine eternal torment in hell. And remember, God, since all souls are created in heaven, God wants every single soul to come back to heaven. But since mankind is so wicked, that's not gonna happen. Basically. I wish it wasn't like this. I wish everybody go went to heaven, but it, it's it's simply not like that. It does not work that way. Mankind is had just to, turned too wicked. Just go, just just watch watch news. I wouldn't even recommend this, but watch news for a day and see see what I'm talking about. Remember, all that God has given for you, He's gave you life. He's gave you this. He's gave you that. What have you given Him back? Just think about that. Remember, in heaven, if you're a born again Christian, you repent every day. Um, God saves you, you go to heaven, but that's great. All glory to God that you're in heaven. That's another soul in heaven that's not going to be in hell. But what are your rewards going to be in heaven? Remember, we are rewarded in heaven by our works on earth. So if you live the life on earth that you, even if you made it to heaven, but you didn't talk about God, you didn't sp spread the message, you you, you didn't do what God wanted you to do, what's, what's going to be your reward in heaven? What's going to be your reward if you didn't, um, try to bring souls into heaven. Remember, remember the thousand and one statistics. Imagine how how much it breaks God's heart knowing that um, for every um, one one soul that He created that comes back to Him in His kingdom where everyone was created, a thousand will go to, to the place of the bed, the place of the dead. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, and also um, I was talking to another Christian. He was telling me, oh, he wasn't like he's a Christian lives a Christian lifestyle, but he wasn't really talking to people about Christ. He was like, not really ev evangelizing, not doing his part. And he's, uh, and I told him, um, yeah, God wants us to do, uh, to do work because we're, because so we can help him win, um, souls to, uh, souls to his kingdom. And he was like, 
oh, well, you can't save everybody. Yeah, I understand you can't save everybody, but at least you have the power to at least save somebody. If you can't save everybody, which we can't, you can at least save somebody, whether it's your atheist friend, whether it's your Muslim friend, whether it's your Buddhist, Hindu. Don't just put it in back of your mind. Look at your family members. You love them, right? You want them to join you in heaven. You want them to join you, Father God, Jesus Christ in heaven. So spread the message and... Wouldn't it suck if you if you went to heaven but none of your family's there? Wouldn't that just break your heart? Imagine how much it breaks God's heart knowing that that the soul he created is not going to come back to him because they chose to live a certain lifestyle. So yeah, do your part. We are rewarded based on our works. Do what you can even if you're just a born again Christian, even if you know not if you even if you know very little about the Christian faith, talk to your friends about it. Talk to your uh, do it like just like you do homework, sit down Google Christianity, learn as much as you can and talk to people about it as much as you, you can. God will be thankful. He's giving you so much. Give him something back and he will reward you in the afterlife. Remember, the afterlife is for eternity. This life that we have is only for a couple of decades. This life is, is going to end for sure. That's the only thing we're guaranteed in life, that this life is going to end and we're good, there's going to be an afterlife, right? And the afterlife is for eternity. You don't, you don't get second chances in the afterlife. So do your part, even if you're if you're just a born again Christian, um, glory to God if you are. Um, even if you're if you just came to the Christian faith, do as much as you can. In the description box of this video, I I, I wrote a message. I already did the hard part. Glory glory to God. All glory to Him. I already did the hard part. All you gotta do is copy paste it, text it, email it, um, Facebook message it, print it out, post it around your city, print it out, post it around your school. Do anything you can to to spread. The message of Jesus Christ, spread the message of the gospel, and spread the upcoming events of the rapture. And yeah, that's what I want to talk to about, talk to you guys about. And thanks for thanks for listening to this video. And all glory to God because all glory belongs to Him.